Hello and welcome to Inside Electronics. In today's episode, let's take a look at an electronic mosquito repeller like this one right here. So, this is an electronic mosquito repeller, and that being said, is because this uses high frequency ultrasonic sound waves to repel away the mosquitoes. Now, usually, mosquito repellers uses some sort of chemicals and the vapor of it causes the mosquitoes to be killed this uses sound this does not kill the mosquitoes but this is enough to keep them away from your home now this thing is not a Chinese thing this is actually made by GM and it's a reputable brand from India this is made in India by the way and GM is actually a very good company they actually make a lot of switch gears and you know a lot of electronic electrical accessories like wires LED bulbs uh, all those kind of stuff they make quality stuff and they do make electronic stuff like this also now the theory behind by the way let's it says 240 volt 50 to 60 hertz 50 to 60 hertz made in India has an LED up here so if I plug this in you may be able to hear something or you may not depending on how sensitive your ears are now I'm plugged it in and now I'm going to bring this right next to my uh, microphone so if you have heard something that is because uh, this thing produces some components in the audio frequency range also and depending on your age the sensitivity level of frequencies that you can hear will also vary so don't worry if you cannot hear that because that's really good because if you can hear it it is going to be a nuisance at the night by the way this uses these type of latches to hold them together now I said it because you know if you can hear it then if the room is completely silent you will definitely hear the sound of this thing if you cannot hear it and if the room is silent then you don't even recognize that this thing is there so it's kind of good if you didn't hear it by the way that actually <laughs> says that your ears are degrading also that's the truth so that is what is inside one of these electronic mosquito repellers and just by the looks of it I can see two transistors two capacitors and a few resistors only which immediately suggests that this is going to be an unstable multi vibrator by the way that's the back side need soldering job soldering is really good so uh, anyways I'm going to pause for a moment and let me see what I can find about the circuit I'll be back in a second so guys as expected this is just an unstable multi a classic two transistor arrangement that you can find on every you know every classic circuits instead of before the uh, before the triple five came into the market this was the circuit that make that made the multi vibrators running now this thing uses two transistors and two capacitors here to generate the high frequency this is a low frequency capacity low uh, I mean low uh, capacity so to make the high frequency noise and it uses a single diode to convert the AC to DC it uses half a rectification and the interesting thing is that they use two resistors in series like these two resistors let me focus here so these two resistors are in series and instead of a capacitor this uh, instead of using a capacitor they are actually using two resistors to uh, limit the voltage down to so more manageable this is uh, uh, you know uh, something like the capacity dropper yeah, exactly I just forgot the name instead of using a capacity dropper they used two resistors in series to limit the voltage now the diode is actually you know the AC in, it just goes through this resistor first and then it goes to the diode then goes to this resistor followed by the rest of the circuitry 
and the LED itself has its own diode and resistor over there. This 4 and 4 8 and that resistor is just for the LED, so it's a separate, it's, it's working as a separate uh, standalone item. The rest is simple, it, the rectified DC is smoothed by this simple uh, 25 volt 40 microfarad capacitor and then given us the supply voltage for the transistor. So if you don't know about the transistor based trip, uh, uh, a stable multivibrator, then just google for it, you will get a lot of pictures and the output is taken from the uh, uh, circuit to this piezo element. Now this is an interesting element, if you don't know about piezo element, it's a really good subject to go through. You know, the, those piezo elements have an interesting property. If you give electricity to them, they are actually, they will actually vibrate. The crystal actually vibrates. So, and and the other side, if you actually, if you force the piezo element, it will actually produce electricity. That's a really interesting thing. And I, if you are an electronics person, you already know that, but I'm talking it, I'm, I'm telling it because uh, if somebody here is, a, is a new to electronics, then it will be useful for them. So, uh, speaking of that, that's pretty much it. it uses an AC, converts it to DC, you, and the DC is used to power the a stable multivibrator, which produces, which is oscillating, which is designed to oscillate in a very high frequency, and only be, the normal speakers cannot respond at that high frequencies, so they used a piezo element to output the sound. So. Yeah, that's it. That's what's inside one of these electronic mosquito repellers. Now, not only this one, but all electronic mosquito repellers uses the sound technique to repel away the mosquitoes. Now, speaking of which, I just wondered how this is going to affect pets. Because, you know, the trainers use dog whistles to train the dogs. The dog whistle is actually a high frequency thing. And this is also a high frequency generator so I don't I wonder how it is going to affect the pets I cannot test it anyways but that's a topic to be that's a question to be answered anyways thanks for watching see you in another video